Hey guys, it's Frosty Tech here today back with an all new video. Uh, it's been a really long way, do not mention for that because I haven't recorded a video since so I told you guys that I'll be releasing a video on how to fix the error of Epic Games Launcher that just goes back and forth and whatever the problem is, we're gonna fix it today. And how we're gonna do that is just right here. So before we get started on all that, I would like to make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button and hit like below so that I'll be happy with luck. So that getting said, let's get started. So what the major problem in Epic Games Launcher is sometimes if you do not have a really means a really good if you can call that if you are having a really high speed internet connection then only you may be, may be able to download it sometimes may not be able to do it. Okay, so how are we gonna fix that problem is when uh, you open up a real engine website and we just click our sign and get on real all that all that. We're gonna skip for the silent part. When you come up here we're gonna see that get on real engine, download or choose your platform. We just simply click on Windows and what that does is that downloaded Epic Games Launcher. And before it was like the uh, it used to download about 90 MB means the whole Epic Games Launcher but now it downloads about only 37 MB which is the problem that after downloading the engine profile it downloads the complete engine. So that sometimes goes up means goes forward and then comes backward again. So that's a major problem. How are we gonna fix that? It's very simple. First of all, all you gotta do is that go to your uh, main C drive and there are two ways to go into that folder. Either you open up hidden files and go to users, which one is yours and then simply click on double click on app data. Or you can do is to press window plus R or start plus R and type in percent app data percentage. These percent marks generally find whatever the path is and then press enter. We're gonna uh, come into that folder only. Whatever your choice, just simply go to app data, go to local, that redirects you to roaming, just click back and come to local back. And you're gonna find, uh, maybe you're not gonna find this one, just uh, double click on the Epic Games Launcher, go to save, configuration, windows, and you're gonna find engine.ini. Here. Double click on it, and what we're gonna do is that we're gonna maximize it, and down here we're gonna press enter key. If you're not having that, press enter and enter. What you gotta do is that you paste this code into it. It's given, given below in the description, you can get that there. You're gonna paste this code here. What this is gonna do is that it's gonna increase the timeout and connection timeout. It generally may, uh, is a major issue that uh, every time we hit our internet connection and it doesn't go up to this now, it will 5 seconds, 20 seconds, 2 seconds and goes again and this gonna uh, yeah major on this one you can increase it to 5 or something you want if you are having anything uh, back downloaded it, if you are downloading something like in chrome or anywhere else just cancel that out because you do not want anything else because what the problem is that if there are too many downloads means um, going on your pc it slows down it and sometimes destroys everything you know. and chunk drives let it be 20 or you try time you can increase it if you want so we're gonna save this file and then when you're, you're gonna open up this Epic Games Watch, it's gonna do all and it's gonna open up something like this. Just simply go to library and hit install I already told this. Okay guys that's what it's for today and do make sure to hit the like button below and subscribe. As all I'm Frozy Tech and I'm sending